Good evening, everyone. Welcome to today's class. Uh, this is MOC, Master of Crypto. In today's class, we'll be learning about crypto seasonality or what is also referred to as market cycle. Now, market cycle comes from the idea that market moves in waves. Market does not move up in a straight line and it does not go down in a straight line. It moves in circles, meaning there are times that market goes up and there are times that market goes down. So crypto seasonality comes from observations that market participants have noticed regarding Bitcoin. They've noticed that Bitcoin might go up over a couple of, let's say, uh, one to three years or four years, then begins to, to go down for another maybe one to two years, then start going back up for another uh, uh, three to four years, then goes down again for another uh, one to three years. Now, that concept is referred to as market circle or crypto seasonality. Now, in the traditional stock market, you know, in the financial markets, there are different kinds of markets. You have the forex market, you have the cryptocurrency market. Let me show you guys here. Okay, now, in the financial market, all this consists of the financial markets. In the financial market, you have the stock market, you have the forex market, you have the cryptocurrency market. Then within this economy, you have what is called bonds, government issued bonds. We have, we have the bonds market. Then uh, within the futures market, you could have different kinds of futures. You could have cryptocurrency futures, you could have commodity futures. So you also have the commodities market. Under the commodities market, you have markets like uh, the gold market, which is the metals market. You have gold, silver, uh, platinum, uh, copper, iron. Those are metals. So you have a special market for them. Then under commodity market, you, you also have agricultural commodities like rubber, cocoa, oil, which is your crude oil. Uh, also falls within the commodities market. Now, these are the different kinds of market. Now, the, the cryptocurrency market, which is the one that we're trading in, focuses and uh, takes some of its um, some of its concepts. The way the cryptocurrency market is designed is very similar to the way the stock market is designed. You know, the only difference now is that cryptocurrency we are now focusing on tokens or coins that are not domiciled in any jurisdiction. Meaning uh, in the cryptocurrency market, you can be in Nigeria and trade cryptocurrencies that were created by someone in the US. But in the stock market, if you are in Nigeria, for example, you can't really own stocks in the US stock market, except you are an accredited uh, investor or you have a lot of money like, uh, you have lots of millions of dollars to be able to get approval to have uh, a, 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 to be able to participate in the stock market in the US or Europe, for example. So cryptocurrency gives us, especially us in Africa, a lot of opportunities to, part it, to participate in the global market without having to leave the comfort of our homes without having to get special requirements, like uh, it will be required for people who are trying to participate in the stock market in the US that is outside Nigeria, you know? So in the stock market, you have market circles too. In the stock market, there are market circles are referred to as bull market, bull market and bear market. Now, in the normal stock market, which is this, the bull market happens for a period of like eight to 10 years, eight to 10 years, 
you have bull market. Bull market is when prices of ev almost everything in the market is steadily going up. It's coming down, going up, coming down, going up. But overall, it's headed up. You know, that's a bull market. So it lasts for about eight to 10 years. Then you have a massive correction. That correction means you enter a bear market. A bear market is when prices are going down, meaning prices are going down like this. Going down like this. That's a bear market. So in the normal stock market, a bear market lasts for about uh, three to four years. You have a bear market where all prices are just going down. Now, taking a clue from that, like I told you guys, the um, the uh, stock market is tailored somehow. It's, it's very similar in its design to the stock market. So now the cryptocurrency market has its own bear and bull market too. And shortly, I'll show you from the chart, has its own bear and bull market. Bear and bull. Okay, now, so let me go into the chart. I'll take that chart from the history. I'll use Bitcoin as an example and show you the history of Bitcoin from uh, an exchange that has been for long. So let's look at Bitstamp. Let's look at Bitcoin on Bitstamp. So to see it properly, let's go to the monthly chart. Let's go to the monthly chart. Uh, let's go to the monthly chart. Now, this is the monthly chart. This monthly chart started in, um, this is, uh, I think this is around September of 2011. That's when this chart started, you know, and you can tell what price was at when this started. So let me try and predict. When this chart started, I think price was around, uh, let's see. Okay, ah, can you believe there's a time Bitcoin was actually at two dollars? God, what was I doing in my life? Two dollars, damn. Anyway, so now I've zoomed in so that I can show you the different uh market circles that Bitcoin has had. Now, this is the first market circle where Bitcoin was around uh, between two and ten dollars you know, between two and ten dollars. Then from there, it went as high as, this is the top here, from two and ten dollars over a period of, this is September to April, September of 2011 to April of 2013. That is how many years? That's about three years from September 2011, 2012, 2013. Yes, that's about three years. Price went from two dollars to as high as this is two hundred and fifty dollars. So this is one market circle, one Bitcoin bull circle. So what happened next after that massive uh, after that massive uh, run up? What happened? Price then went down from two hundred and sixty dollars. It crashed to as low as 40, 46 dollars. So if you are to measure, this is about an 82% drop from the top. So this is what you call a bear market. Do you understand? You have a bull market, the first one uh, in 2011 to 2013. Price went up from $2 went up, it didn't go up in a straight line. It kept having this movement, but then eventually it went this high from $2 to 200, let's say $250. Then it crashed to $82. So you can tag this as one bear, one, one circle. You can tag this as one circle. So a market circle contains of one bull market and 
one beer market. So you have one market circle. So the first market circle, price moved from $2 to $250, then corrected to $48. Now that's one market circle. Then you have this one. After it got corrected to this is $250, it corrected to about $47. Then from 20, the same 2013. Um, okay, 2013, it moved from $48 to as high as $1,000. $200. So you can say, okay, this is another massive move. Price just skyrocketed. This is one month candle. So after that, what happened? It dropped. It dropped to as low as, imagine something dropping from $1,200 to as low as $184. A lot of people will panic that, oh, this market has crashed. This market has ended, you know, because this market dropped by what is this? What are we seeing here? This market dropped by, okay. Let me draw it again. This market dropped from here to as low as here. So this market dropped by 85%. Wow. Imagine your investment going down by 85%. Not many people can, can hear that. But it dropped by 85%. Then what happened? So you can say this is a beer market because this happened from 2014 till 2015. That was one year. 2014 to 2015. That was one year. Price gradually dropped from $1,200 to $184. Then in 2015, it started rising steadily. In 2015, started rising steadily from $184. Then in 2017, imagine something moving from $184 to as high as, let's say, about $20,000 in 2017. So in the course of 2015, 2016, and 2017, so that's about three years, Bitcoin moved from $184 to $20,000. So that's about times, that times 100 or times 1,000. You know, that's about times 1,000. Yeah, that's about times 1,000 in the space of three years. Now, after that happened, what happened? Bitcoin dropped again from this $20,000, dropped by another 82%. 82%, which is, it dropped from $20,000 to around $3,000 from, and this happened from, 2017, December of 2017, it dropped gradually till, let's say, December of 2018, over one year period. So that is another market circle. You have a bull market, you have a bear market, forming one circle. So from $3,000, it now rose steadily from $3,000 got to uh, this around 12,000, came down to $4,000, $4,500. Then that's in, so you can count this as one circle. From 2019, the circle started. From 2019, it moved from $3,000, went high, came down to around uh, another $3,000. Let's say, four, yeah, this is $4,500. Then went straight up to about $65,000. Yeah, went straight up to about $65,000. Now that is another market circle. That's another bull market. Do you understand? So a bull market has happened. Now, a lot of us are anticipating another beer market to complete one market circle. Do you understand? And what do we usually expect from the other ones we have calculated? The first one in 2011 to 2013, market corrected by 82%. From 2013, 
from sorry from 2014 the uh, the market the market corrected by 85 percent that was only corrected from 1200 dollars to 184 dollars then the next one it moved from 184 dollars to 20000 dollars then corrected by another 82 percent when it corrected from 20000 dollars down to 3000 dollars that's another bull circle and a bear circle now market has moved up from let's say as low as four thousand dollars that we have here you know to as high as uh, uh sixty five thousand dollars so that's over times 15 about times 16 you know approximately times uh, 15 point something move now a lot of people are anticipating that okay what happens in the past is likely to happen again meaning after this massive move up, we should anticipate another correction. And based on previous record, if market decides to correct again by another eight two percent, which is be, which it has been the standard for the other uh, uh, market circles, so correcting from sixty five thousand, correcting eight uh, two percent from sixty five thousand means market will drop from sixty five thousand to let's see let me clear this okay so if that happens a market correct by 82 percent 82 percent correction from the highs brings us to about eleven thousand dollars do you understand? $11,000. So if we're going to follow market cycle theory, as we have learned, we're anticipating that this correction should bring us $11,000. But then, one thing you must notice, in the other market circles, there was not a straight drop that happened. So it means that even if we're going to get to this $11,000, it won't just correct in one massive drop. In the other market circles, we observe the market to come down a little, go up, come down a little, go up, then come down a little, but eventually it corrects by about 82%. So that's one way to look at it. So now, what we're looking at now, is this the top of this circle? So there's the argument that, okay, maybe this is not the top of this circle. Because remember that in the other circle, that Bitcoin moved from um, uh, $182 to about $20,000. So if you're looking at it, that's about times 100. So that made one circle. The other one, it moved from $2 to about $1,200, which is times 60, you know, for the first market circle in 2011. Then it moved from $1,800, sorry, $184 to $1,200. Sorry, $184 to $20,000. That's about times times 100, actually. So now, the circles we've witnessed in the past had a growth of times 60 and times 100. So this particular one has only had a growth of, let's say, from 3000 to to uh, uh, 65,000, that's about times 20, times 20. So if we anticipate that, okay, since all the previous market uh, bull, bull circles have gotten to at least 60X, so let's say we are going to experience even a 50, a 50 years growth from $3,000. So we're anticipating that Bitcoin could still get to $150,000 because that would be $3,000 multiplied by 50X. So some, some people are projecting that Bitcoin might still get to another $150,000 before the end of this current market cycle. It, has a, it, has one, it is when it gets to $150,000 that we cannot begin to calculate the 82% drop. Do you understand? But then, uh, like I, I said earlier, that these things happen over a period of, the bull market happens over a period of uh, 
uh, uh, two to four years, then you have a bear market. So this one started in 2019. So you have 2019, 2020, now we're in 2021, 2021. So the question is, will this lead into 2022? Can we expect this move to $150,000 in 2022 before we expect that correction? You remember the last one happened from 2015, 2016, and 2017, and part of 2018. So that was about uh, three to four years, you know. And this one was started counting from 2019. We have 2019, 2020, 2021. Do you understand? So are we going to have another year extra, 2022, in which price does this, goes up to 150K, you know? And the thing about uh, trading this market is, you can only have theories based on what has happened in the past. You have scenarios, but it is usually very hard to tell exactly how this will play out. A lot of people believe that this will not just drop by this 82%, it will go up to 150,000 before coming down by 82%, you know? So uh, we just have different scenarios in our head, but then we protect ourselves for whatever happens. So based on your understanding of market circle, as an investor, how do you now position yourself? So the way to position yourself is to identify the circles, especially if you're a very busy person that works, you have a full-time job, you have a full-time business, you don't have time to be checking the chart all the time. So you now need to have a lot of patience, a lot of patience in the sense that you now time these market circles. So you might not even be interested in buying Bitcoin now until you have seen that 70 to 80% drop from the top. After you've seen it, you now start buying aggressively, knowing that after I buy, I'm going to leave it for the next four years. Because after every four year circle, Bitcoin always goes up at least 20 times its, uh, its low time value, meaning, uh, you have, uh, you have a bull market, you have a bear market. So at the, the low of the bear market, the last time, the low of the bear market was $3,000. The top of the bear market was $20,000. Now, Bitcoin always does at least times 20 from the low of its bear market to the top of the next bull market. So if you wait patiently for Bitcoin to correct by 80%, then you buy a lot, then you are expecting about 20 times return, which is about 2,000% of your investment in the course of two to four years. So that's how to play the game of market circle and crypto seasonality. Now, crypto seasonality means that market operates in seasons. So it's the same thing. So you have a bull season and a bear season, all forming one market circle. I think I've emphasized that a lot. So I'm going to stop here uh, for now, then we'll go into the next. Uh,